uh, myself and uh, Brother Shane on the way to work. Shalom, Shalom Brother Shane. Shalom. And we're talking about this um, uh, debate that we had set up. And, uh, and we're actually going over some of the things because we wanted to bring it to your attention. The debate, um, from what I understood, was biblical marriage. Is that right, Brother Shane? Yes, Shane? that's what it proposed to be. B biblical yeah. marriage. Um, and that's what we did. We stayed the course with the biblical marriage. If you, uh, and it's obvious that Mr. Roberts lost the debate hands down. Um, but he came there, not really so much a debate. He came there with another agenda, though, didn't he? Yes, I believe so. Yes. And the reason why he came there with another agenda is because when someone is not intelligent, when they don't have any scholarship, um, and, and they are lost for words, uh, what they do is they... Uh, resort to personal attacks. Now, those attacks were designed to try to get me to fall into the trap of, of debating his theology and his doctrine as opposed to staying the course of the debate. What say you? Yes, sir. That was what we, that's what y'all agreed on. That was the, the whole of the whole debate, but he wanted to divert. He wanted to distract. Yes. And some of the things that he actually, if, if you ever had an opportunity, if you can stomach watching him and listen to him, some of the things that he had actually spoke on uh, during debates and topics and subjects that he brought up because he did not answer one question at all that I asked. I, only, I really only asked one about 18 something times, wasn't it? 18 times. The main, where is there, where's the condemnation? Well, where's, where's the condemnation? Going? One, this debate could be over. Show me one. He, he came up, um, and we learned a lot about him. And and what he wanted to do was debate his own theology and doctrine, and which consists of, he says that the whole entire Bible is the Torah. Well, what are we going to do about the Tanakh? Yes. What are we going to do about the Baruch HaRashah? Yes. What are we going to do about the letters of the emissaries? True. You know, I mean, if the whole Bible's the Torah, the way I understood the Torah, the instructions, it's the first five books, bro. Yes. Saying, is yes. that right? That's why I've always known it. And then he, he's got this fetish with sex. Now I don't know what it is, but he loves using the word whores and whoremongers and stuff. But not only that, in the course of this debate, he blasphemed the Ruach HaKodesh. He attacked all the patriarchs, Abraham. Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, he called every single one of them weak and cowardly. Did you hear that? Yes. I just want to make sure we're not making this up. Um, and then not only that, he, he, he extolled out to the front uh, his wife and pretty much made her a goddess of worship. What would you pick up? Yes, I would say the same. Yes. And then he insults her. She's a cripple. Look at her. And I guess that's just their sick way of him extolling her. I don't know what it is, but um, he, he went on with that. Then he, he, he went on um, blaspheming uh, the Ruach uh, and the gifts. Uh, boy, he vehemently opposed that, didn't he? Yes, very much so. We, with even evidence there. And, and what else did he oppose? Because he went after, he, he just, instead of sticking to the subject, he just went off on a tangent. Yes, he went on everything that was, I don't know, an offense in him. White Jesus and yeah. everything else, whores and such like. I mean, he was opposing actual Elohim himself and a lot of his uh, wording. And and I, I figured out in the debate exactly what was going on. And, of course, I ended it on that. <clears throat> I want you all to listen to me. There are people out there who use the Bible. Listen to me. Just because they're carrying the Bible does not mean that they are actually quoting from it does not mean that they're actually um, defining the words from the Bible itself. They're using the Bible uh, as a step stool to deception to deceive you. Because it's obvious that this guy right here opposes the scriptures. He opposes the word of God. But what he does is he uses words. His doctrine and his religion is words. And of course the religion is, he's trying to do like um. Uh, the prophet Muhammad. He's trying to start his own religion. Um, I don't know what it is, but well, what he does is he goes and he he uh, pick he'll read a verse out of scripture, pick a word, and then form a doctrine around that one word, and and then he starts going off speaking into this broken so-called Hebrew, whatever it is. And but that's what he's doing. He and and he's um 
conforming his own doctrine, trying to use the Bible to do it while he's deceiving you, thinking that he's really using the Bible at, at the whole. And the truth is, he is not. Uh, it's very comical. It's very unfortunate that 62 years of life has been wasted. That's pretty much all you can produce. Um, it's, it's rhetoric and it's sadness. It really truly is. And the reason why we're making this video this morning is because he need, y'all need to be warned of, of such men as this who are reprobate, which I told him that's what he was uh, at that debate. Uh, he has no respect and honor. He don't love his wife. He uses his wife. Um, and it's probably fortunate for him that she is crippled because if she had any sense, she, she'd run away from him uh, and save herself uh, because it's bad what's going on. It's bad. It's really bad. If you get a chance to check it out, check it out. But I tell you what, you, you, you get yourself ready because um, you, you're going to feel uh, the Ruach in you literally turn over as you hear this man um, blaspheme the prophets, blaspheme uh, the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, um, and just literally run down the Messiah. I mean literally run down uh, Yahshua, Jesus the Christ. I mean... That is the spirit of Antichrist or the spirit of error if I ain't never seen it before in my life. Uh, what I picked up on is that that this man, he must have been molested when he was younger. Uh, because he has a lot of feminine traits. I noticed that was being displayed up there. Um, because anyone that makes that type of reference, that many references um, to um, whores and and F and, and all kinds of stuff without any respect to children in the audience whatsoever at all. You notice that, right? Yes, very much so. Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. No honor, no honor whatsoever at all. It's just a sad, sad thing. And um and, and I'm disturbed at some of you out there. Uh, one person, only one person says that this guy is a great um, uh, teacher. A teacher of what? An apostle. Apostle of jackass. That's exactly what it is. But it's a good learning tool. Because um, you if you watch it, you're going to see Pastor Dow run circles around this cat. And we could really, truly couldn't even get into too much scholarship um, and go any deep deeper into the debate in itself because he kept avoiding it. Yes. His agenda was to spew out his false doctrine, his false teaching, because he's a liar. And he's of his father, the devil. Uh, and it's sad. And you know what's happening? All those people down there are just flat out yes. mesmerized. They are deceived. Got to be some kind they, of they heavy are, huh? dominating spirit. They it is. Spirit, yeah. they, they are under some strong delusion. No doubt about it. I can tell you right now, he definitely ain't going to the kingdom. Oh, he's going to the kingdom, kingdom of hell. Because you don't set up and blaspheme the Holy Spirit, run down the Messiah and curse his name, and curse out all the patriarchs calling them cowardly and weak. When I'm sitting up here looking at this fat pig who can barely even stand up for 20 minutes at a time mm. in his weakened condition, he's going to talk about them like that. Yeah, because y'all suffered. And, and We're talking about biblical uh, marriage and he's talking about basketball. Yes. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I tell you. And you know what? These people are so haughty and so proud and prideful that they actually truly think that they're right. They'll leave their vindicate as if they've done something. I feel sorry for you people. I really truly do. Consider what I say. Go check it out. Have a good day.